Well, good afternoon. It's Mayor Phil Fisher again. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit now after the governor has given his uh, direction for the state, uh, kind of where we're going to go now next week with Clinton. Let me begin by thanking you again of how well you're doing. Just for your information, our city right now is just a little bit, just a tick over one-tenth of one percent of people that are infected with coronavirus out of 26,000, just a bit over one-tenth of one percent. So you've done well. You've worked hard and you've obeyed the rules and, and we're all, all benefiting from that. And I thank you for that. Let me get in now to kind of where we're going to go next week. Uh, let me start with our city workers. Uh, with the exception of Parks and Rec and Public Works, we're going to remain as we have been for the next week. Uh, Parks and Rec, uh, with the Parks and Rec director, uh, can call the crews in for grass cutting as he sees fit. Uh, next week, weather permitting, uh, the public works director needs to go ahead and bring in his crews that have been out, and let's start ramping up in the city and, and starting to take care of some things. Uh, the rest of the city employees who have been at home will remain at home uh, until next Monday week, I guess that's May 4th, uh, and they'll come in at 8 o'clock in the morning unless something changes drastically. I want to set, do that to set an example to the city. Uh, of, of how we're handling things because I don't want to see an uptick in the virus itself. Uh, the governor talked about dimming a light instead of turning it off and on. Um, I think what he's really trying to say is we don't want to run out uh, in, into the streets and start celebrating victory. We're not there. And we don't want to see a relapse in the uh, sickness as we go through it. So uh, with the exception of Parks and Rec at his discretion and public works to bring in the crews that, are, that have not been working to go ahead and bring them in on Monday, uh, everyone else in the city, if you would, just stay where you have been the last two weeks. Parks, uh, we're going to open the park walking trails. The park walking trails only, not the playground equipment. Not the playground equipment. And the reason for that is playground equipment tends to, to grab or, or gravitate more than 10 people. And we don't want that to happen. Uh, those rules still stay in effect. So, if you want to go walk in the park starting uh, Monday, that will be all right. We'll start doing that. But the, uh, as far as the playground equipment itself, uh, no. And that includes uh, ball, ball courts, basketball courts. Uh, those will also not be allowed, just the walking trail itself. We will open up the bark park and allow your dogs to be able to stretch their legs. Just stay well apart from each other. Stay well apart. Curbside service remains. Uh, the governor talked about opening retail stores, um, but he also talked about capacity of those stores, basically to cut it in half. So see what your fire rating is for numbers of people, and if it's 30 people, then no, no more than 15 at the store in the store at that time. However, continue to wear your mask. Continue to use your uh, hand sanitizer. Continue the social distancing. Oh, none of that's changed. As the, as the governor said, beauty shops, barber shops, tattoo parlors, and fingernail salons will remain closed. It has to do with body contact and the closeness. Uh, so we'll get with you on that next week. But for now, all of those remain closed. Uh, basically, what we're looking at, I believe, is a market-driven opening. Uh, it is really your responsibility as an individual to take uh, care of yourself and those around you and those in the city. If you go out and you purposely, uh, you know, are, are going out and, and going out a lot when you don't need to be uh, and you get infected and then you infect someone else, you know, that's on you. Well, so what you need to do is practice all the same, thing, the same things we've been doing, but just do so uh, in a safe manner. Go out only when you need to go out and only travel when it's essential. But let's, let's, at this point, let's think of it as taking care of, of the other person. Let's take care of the other person by taking care of ourselves. Now, I want to talk for a minute about water cutoff. The PSC has still not lifted its, its no water cutoff uh, or has not lifted its water cutoff policies yet. But I want to be clear. We normally have about 125 people per month who are late with their water bills who get cut off and then they get cut back on. In March, we had 190. This was the first month of the, uh, 
PSC shutdown. This past in April, we had 309. So the number is going up. Uh, some people just don't want to pay their bills until they have to. Others may be uh, involved with the loss of job or other reasons. I would urge you, if you've lost your job or you're having employment issues, to contact the city and let us know. Because whenever that uh, ban on cutoffs is lifted by the PSC, the next billing cycle, things will go back to what they were and you will owe all the back months. Okay, or you'll be cut off. You'll owe all the back months. So uh, I, I, I need to tell you that now so you can start preparing for that because some of you may be three months behind at this point. And if it goes on into June or into May, you'll be four months behind. Uh, and so you just need to make those kinds of preparations. I know that Energy and Atmos have made some uh, uh, steps toward that. Uh, we just need to, to be aware that those, do, those bills will come due. I hope that's answered all your questions, and I don't want to take up very much of your time. Uh, basically, you can read what the governor said, where we are following his lead in this. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.